Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is your boy Hocus. We're back here to get another video. And as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make samples for Naruto Wick and ECG using my new Onyx kit. I'll be showing you guys how to make some like dark, melodic, fast paced like melodies. At the time this video came out, I just dropped my Onyx kit. It contains 30 samples, 30 loops, 100 plus one shots, and textures. So I'm using all that stuff from the kit to use this sample. It's gonna be linked in the description. It's only $5, it's my first $5 kit. So I hope you guys enjoy. I made this kit to help producers on a budget and get them everything they need to just get started out with making loops and getting placements. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so now that we're in FL, I'm gonna show you guys what the sample sounds like. So yeah, as I said, something like dark, fast, perfect for Naruto Wick and ESTG. So I'm just going to be breaking down like my thought presses behind the patterns, the mixing, and all that stuff. So first thing we start off with, here's a loop from my boy Louise. I mean, a starter. It's not, this, is what the, this is what just the starter sounds like. Yeah, so just really hard. I really fucked with it. And then all I did was pitch it down two cents. And then in mixer track one, I adjust the volume, I think at 96%, reverb, the wet at 60, size at 100, and dry at uh, 100 as well. And then I set an EQ taking out a little bit of like the higher mids, because I think I had a little bit of some bad EQs that I didn't really like in there. And yeah, that's all I did to change the starter he sent. The starter was a main role in the thing, so shout out to him. And then the next thing I have is this um, percussion loop from my boy Piso. Shout out to him, his Instagram is Piso2x, he's really hard. Um, here's what this sounds like. Yeah, so it's like a tribal like drum kind of pattern. Like it sounds so good in the in the loop. That's what it sounds like in the loop. In my opinion, it makes it sound very um like it gives a good accent. It makes it sound very like tribal and like something kind of different. You know what I mean? You don't hear this in a lot of samples like percussion, like old old percussion like loops from like tribes kind of. You know what I mean? So I just pitched it up 900 cents volume at 81 the reason i pitched up uh 800 cents is because i had a half time on it without the half time it's really fast because it's normally at 120 bpm and i put it up to 163 so i just put a half time just to slow it down a little bit without the half time it sounds like this yeah so it's much faster so the half time is just slowing it down and then the next thing i have is another um reverb it's the same as the one that i have on the starter um, the wet is at 67, dry 100, and the size is also at 100. And then I just have an EQ right here, taking out some of the mids and boosting the highs since I have a half time on it. The uh, half time kind of takes out some of the highs. So then here I just took out a little bit of highs and took out some of the lows. And this is what it sounds like with all the effects. Yeah, I really like that sound in the loop. Like, it's probably one of my favorite sounds other than the starter. I, just, I add that in a lot of my loops just to make it make it a bit more unique and give it a bit more feel to it if it's sounding a bit bland. And the next thing I have, I believe, is a piano. And here's what it sounds like. And yeah, it's just a piano from Contact. It's the Noir Pure Bank. Just text me if you want this bank. I'll send it out to you guys for supporting me. And then it's just a simple pattern going on A2. And I always do this. I blast the velocity to make it hit hard. It makes it sound really dark. Um, it's on a really low note to make give it the dark feel again. I have it playing every uh, third bar or second bar. And then I just have it boosted up to F right here. The effects I have on it, I just turned the volume up a bit and boosted the... Uh, sub in EQ and took out some of the highs. Next thing we got is a choir. This is the choir from Choir Essentials. It's the woman performance. It's like a woman, like choir kind of. Um, and here's what the sound, the pattern sounds like. And as you guys can probably tell, it sounds like choppy and different. And that's not just my computer lagging, I have Portal on it. And what Portal does pretty much is, oh, what the hell? that looks kind of tough. But what Portal does, it just, I don't even know how to explain it, bro, but it just, like, without it, this is what it sounds like. And then with it, 
like it just mutilates the sample it switches it up like crazy and i just have an rc retro color damn but i don't even know what to say but i just have a retro color on it taking out some of the highs right here and then a portal preset on it it's called vocals i'm pretty sure that this is from yeah mac shooters or uh, crate presets shout out mac and then for my arrangement of the loop all I really did, and I do this in all my loops, I have the starter I normally use, have what I add, have the piano going, and then I had the choir so it doesn't get too repetitive coming in every uh, every uh, eight bars, and then I actually have the stems. And one tip, always have stems, because I know a lot of drum drum makers like having the stems, so if they don't like the sample, they could rearrange it. Like, let's say I didn't like the way this was um, arranged, I can move it how I want. Maybe I could add just this for a bit, and then I'd... I'd have that so it's just really good to have so make sure you always have stems and yeah that was a pretty quick video I hope you guys enjoyed onyx is gonna be linked in the description it's only six dollars so there's no reason not to buy it just support your boy help yourself out it's a kit for producers on a budget help you guys be creative make new stuff has some unique sounds in there so make sure you guys go cop and thank you guys for watching